Hey everyone and welcome to the channel. So today we get to take a look at this 2024 BMW 840i xDrive Coupe. It is finished off in Aurora Diamond Green Metallic. This is actually a color shifting color for this model. It costs about $5,500. Putting the MSRP up for this right around $104,000. So keep that in mind as we walk around this exterior, hopefully you can tell the color change that it has. We are going to start off with what powers the 840i. Under the hood is a three liter twin power turbo inline six. It's paired to an eight speed automatic transmission and it pumps out 335 horsepower, 368 pound feet of torque sent through that xDrive all wheel drive system. It will propel this 4,200 pound coupe from zero to 60 in four and a half seconds. Top speed is 155 miles an hour. Now for this model, it also has the M Sport Pro package. So it provides it with the matte black kidney grille. There's also a forward facing camera and then plenty of cutouts to provide a lot of cooling to that engine. The entire lower section is also very open with all the inlets and the horizontal bars, giving it a really cool added design. And then all the contoured lines just add to that sporty appearance. This also has the LED headlights, DRLs, and turn signals. Headlights have the laser light technology. The blue accents will indicate that. And then there's also some nice lines that run down both sides of the hood. So it gives it a really, really nice front end. As we move on to the side, this has a set of 20 inch wheels with a multi-spoke design, two-tone color. There's the black M Sport brakes, trim accent just behind that. This has two-tone for the power folding side mirrors with a camera and a turn signal. All of the window trim is blacked out and then really nice lines in that lower side skirt as well as just underneath the door handle. And hopefully from this angle, hopefully the camera can pick it up. It has a hint of blue right now in the back and then green up front. Very cool color to see for this. And then in back, this has a small trunk mounted spoiler finished off in gloss black, LED taillights. There's the backup camera with all the sensors and then that dual exhaust underneath. This does have remote start, so triple tap that button and this will fire up. You can also triple tap on that to shut it off. And then you can use the key fob or the button up underneath to gain access to the trunk. So this does have a power operated trunk lid and plenty of space in the back. There's access to your batteries on the left side, storage on the right, and then you can even fold down the back seats to give yourself that much more interior space. There is no storage underneath the floor, but regardless, you have a lot of space for this two door vehicle. Now, as we work our way to the interior, you just heard it lock. Just simply grab the door handle, it will unlock and a beautiful interior to match this exterior paint. There's two tone for this leather, all of the brushed aluminum accents. This also has the Harman Kardon sound system. There's a trunk release, your window adjustments, memory seating controls as well. And then take a look at the two tone seats. Really nice lateral support up front. They are automatic with one manual adjustment. And then you can also pull on this leather strap to move this seat in the forwards direction. So if you had to put somebody in the back, that is how you would do it. At five foot 10, I am very crammed in the back seat. So really it's for extra storage, maybe a car seat, or if I needed to go half a mile, I could hop into the back. It is practical though, for that extra space in the back there and just for that third person, if you really have to make it work. Now we'll start this back up. We have the leather steering wheel, which is heated, cruise control settings, there's volume tuning, Bluetooth and voice commands, and then paddle shifters as well with all the brushed aluminum accents. For the digital gauge cluster, fuel is on the left side along with miles per hour. Right side, there's your tack and engine temperature. And then you can also view a few vitals on that right side, just depending on what you would like to see, your drive modes, live readouts for your MPG, horsepower. Not a whole lot, but it is nice that you can go through that. And then you can also use another button for the head-up display. So you can pull up all of your audio adjustments or just view a miles per hour and the speed limit sign. Now the headlight adjustments are on the left. There's also one air vent. Leather covers the entire dash. And then for the infotainment system, you have a lot that you can scroll through on the home screen itself. You can even add some info over on that right side as needed. And then all these shortcuts on the left side are fixed. 
So you can quickly get into those as needed. If we go into car now, you have a lot more that you can scroll through. You can even pull up the sport display. So if you're doing some sporty driving, you can pull that information up and view it. You can look at vehicle status, even multiple settings, depending on what you'd like to see and just setting up the vehicle to your liking. If we go all the way back, this also has Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and a few other apps that you can quickly go through. And all the shortcuts down below allow you to quickly get through all this information. Rotary dials also finished off in crystal, as well as the shifter and the engine start stop button. Now you can also get into the intelligent safety, so you can monitor all of that tech. And then with the other LCD screen, this is for all of your climates. So you have your temperature, fan speed, you can go into even to sync these and go through a few more adjustments. Now this also has heated and ventilated seats. So with one push of a button, you can adjust what you would like it to be, which is nice. Declutters it a little bit rather than having two buttons down below. There's a few other AC adjustments and research, power and volume for the radio, all of your presets and tuning. And then underneath this lid, there's wireless charging, cup holders and auxiliaries. And on this left side, there's traction control, a shortcut to the camera system, parking sensors, and your engine start stop. Now, if we put this into reverse, we have the backup camera with that top down view. And then we have the other angles that you can go into with your 360. You have gesture control, or you can just push on these in order to view around the entire vehicle. If I put it into drive and push that shortcut for the camera system, now we can pull up the forward facing camera, which is great, of course. You have the shifter where you can change gears or using the paddle shifters and then park is located on the back. And there's also a few different driving modes that you can go into, just depending on the throttle response that you would like or if you'd like the vehicle to adapt for you. Auto hold and the e-brake are behind that. A Little bit of storage with some auxiliaries. And then the glove box has plenty of space. We have Alcantara for the entire headliner. Dome lights are up top too. And then a very good amount of visibility. Those pillars are very thin. You have a large window right there. So you can easily see over that left side as well. And in sport mode, second gear, here we go. Mild acceleration, we're up to speed. And then taking this turn, it is so planted. And then shifts are quick and we're back up to speed. Now, one thing that I did forget to mention earlier is that this model actually has all wheel steering. So at slower speeds, the rear wheels will turn in the opposite direction. And that makes it much easier for parking lot situations and things like that. So it's very nice to see for this. I'm not sure if at higher speeds they turn in the same direction or not. That would allow you to maneuver just a little bit better at those higher speeds. But at a slower speed like this, even just turning, you feel the back end kind of kick out a little bit. It's very hard to notice unless you actually know it. But very nice to see that even with this all wheel drive vehicle. And this is what it's like to be behind the wheel now for the 840. Very identical to the 850, of course. And even though this is a 2024, we still have the older screen. We don't have the large curved screen. Not sure if that is something that will trickle into the 8 series. I would assume at some point we will see that update. But if you like this system, this is what I have in my X5. I like it. I think it's still very easy to use and it provides you with a good bit of information. And it's just a nice kind of grand touring style vehicle. So if you want something that's going to be luxurious and still have some power, it's a good option to go with. And that is going to wrap it up for this 2024 BMW 840i X-Drive Coupe. Once again, huge shout out to Hendrick BMW Northlake for providing this for me today. Check out their website. That link is down in the description. And if you enjoyed today's video, make sure you give it a huge thumbs up and consider smashing that subscribe button so you don't miss out on our daily uploads with a quick U-turn and that rear wheel steering. One last acceleration. I will see you all in the next video.